you want to know how to make an elevator which you can go on two floors or stories, make sure to watch this video all the way to the end to find out how to. <laughs> Hey guys, and welcome back to this brand new video on my channel, and in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make an elevator using proximity prompts in Roblox Studio. Uh, what this will do is, if you hold E, uh, the elevator is going to go up, and once you're up, you can go down by holding E again. If you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe, because you will be pogified and an epic gamer, and you really want that. Yes. Uh, if you want to become a member of the channel, just click the blue join button down below. Nothing, nothing too special. Shout out to my member, which is a member. Okay, well, we should start off. I'm going to make a quick, like, a, a wall area. So, don't mind me just building right now. Going like this. So, what we can do is actually, before we do that, do this. Boom, boom. So I'm, I'm just making a quick area right now where I want my, um, my, my, my part of my elevator. I'm going to put it like over here, just like this. So this is going to be your little elevator. I know it sucks, but it doesn't matter. So what we can do is I'm going to make an elevator right now. I'm going to just going to make it brown because yes. What I recommend is doing the size of the actual thing. So it's like make sure it's not touching it really directly, but a bit offset. Like this. Make sure to anchor every single thing in your game. Else you're going to be screwed up. And what I want to do is I want to see how much studs I can go over here. Like this. So this is my elevator. Well, what we're going to be doing is this. I'm going to make another thingy. Okay, just like this. And now I'm going to select all the parts, grouping them. I'm just going to do nothing. They just I'm gonna, just going to call these ignore parts. This is going to be the elevator. What you want to do is... um. I want to get a part. You want to make it a bit bigger than the actual uh, elevator itself. So like a little, little tiny bit like this. That's just a little, little tiny bit. And then cover it up like this. And then make the transparency one. And can collide off. And name it center. Because we're going to be doing a, um, a center. The part is going to like move the entire thing. So set the primary part to the center, like this. And now you're done for now. I'm going to be making two little parts over here, which will allow me um, to go back. So I'm going to put a script and a proximity prompt. And we want to be typing the local lift floor. I'm just going to kind of lift elevator, who cares? Uh, script the parent dot let's see dot can I already do nope script the parent the parent dot elevator the primary part and we're gonna require the tween service by saying local tween service equals the game called and get service uh, tween service now we're gonna be editing our tween style so to go to elevator go up or down who cares local tween style is equals to tween info Dot new, and this number means how long it takes to go up or down. So if you do one second, it's probably gonna break. I recommend like five to ten. Gonna do ten. Enum dot easing style dot linear, and enum dot easing direction dot out by zero, a false, and a zero. And over here you can see number time, easing style repeat gonna repeat it zero times uh, number repeat count boo versus yeah should be clear now we can do local elevator 
is the elevator by script dot parent dot parent dot elevator. So that is our first tiny bit of script done. Now we're going to be typing a function so all of the parts are going to be attached to each other by saying function well the elevator and uh, open bracket close bracket enter for i equals one hashtag elevator colon get children do so every one part in the entire thing do if elevator colon get children uh, and then square bracket i like this is other than the elevator the primary part then local weld is equals to instance dot new weld constraint uh weld constraints are things that are gonna attach parts to each other then weld part zero is equals to elevator colon get children square bracket i uh weld dot part one is equals to elevator uh, the primary part and weld the parent. We're gonna put this um, weld inside of the elevator the primary part again. So every single thing will be attached to the center part, but the center part is attached to the model. Should be clear enough, right? And sorry for that crap voice. And then we're gonna finish it off by elevator calling get children i dot anchored is six to false. So this is our weld function to make sure every single thing is attached to each other. We can do, now we need to do something confusing. You need to go to your center, and you need to move it up till you reach your line. So like this, so people can walk out of your elevator, and I see I did wrong, like this. So now you can see, we, can, we will be able to walk out. Then, once you did that, go to position and control C it or CMDZ. See if you're a Mac, you probably know how to copy. And then uh, press the revert button until it's back there. Um, so we can do local lift position up is equals to, and then curve, uh, curved brackets, C frame is equals to C frame dot new. And then that weird position, and that's it. Then local uh, tween floor up is equals to tween service colon create. We're gonna now create the actual tweening lift floor. We're gonna use the primary part, the tween style which we made, and how we want to move it up. Lift position up. Now we need to do one more thing, and that is script the parent. The proximity prompt the triggered colon connect uh, function and we can do weld elevator we're gonna activate that and tween floor up colon play it's like an animation we need to do one more thing go to your proximity prompt and set the well you can do object text elevator and then go up And then hold duration. I want to hold it for two seconds in order to go up. Uh, I'm gonna do six. So this is going to work. So let's test it out by playing here. Alrighty, here we are. And over here, you can see elevator go up. So if we hold it, let me go quickly on our elevator. You can see we're moving up. And once we reach the end, gonna notice so like hello da, 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 da. and then once we're up you can see it stops and we can walk out if we have a part over here what you just can quickly do is find the parts do it like this now we're gonna make it so you can go down so duplicate this this is going to be the up up part and this is going to be the down part I'm gonna move it up till we're here like this and uh it's not hard to make it go down since your sensor part is already down you can go to your sensor part what is that um you can go to position over here and get that position now you can go to your down part and over here in c frame dot new you can do this boom now instead of fleeing twin for up you're going to do down 
twin floor down. We're gonna do, uh, let's see. Lift position down. And you're done. That's how easy it is. So now we're gonna do one final test in order to find out. And I'm gonna actually do one last, last, last thing, and that is make a part from the top because I get triggered just like this. So now it's like an elevator, which you can go like elevators you cannot see through instead of, uh, unless it's glass. I seriously forgot one thing. On this proximity prompt, you want to do go down. And this, I promise this is the last thing we're going to test. So let's see. Ready? Elevator, go up. We're going to hold it. And we can go up. It's going to take 10 seconds. You can make it, I recommend like 5 or 4. But not more. Not like more. And we're up. And you can see this is our elevator. We're now on the second floor. And if we hold this button. And now the elevator will go down. As you can see. And boop. We're on the ground again. So this is an easy way to make a elevator. Uh, if you did enjoy this tutorial. Do not forget to smash that subscribe button. And like this video. And this is my pogger head. Yes. No, okay, but like, you get my point, okay? You get my point. So if you did enjoy, do not forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. And I say peace out and goodbye.